roadmap. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Danny. And today we're going to talk about Mars in a Box. Box. The title of the sixth experiment is Making Mars in 3D. We will be doing an anaglyph, a 3D image. So for this, we will need just some 3D color glasses, a computer and an internet connection. Let's make our anaglyph now by using this free software GIMP. First of all, we need an image. We are starting by the very simple case in which we are using the same image for both eyes. I downloaded the picture from the free repository of the Mars rover Curiosity, so it's a picture of the surface of Mars. To open it, just click on File, Open, find it and double click on it. You can see it now. Now we need to duplicate it. To do so, select the whole image by clicking on Select All. Now copy it by clicking on Edit, Copy and finally paste it on a new layer. This is Edit, Paste as New Layer. Now we have two layers here on the bottom uh, right corner of the screen. This is the Layers dialog. I'm renaming them. This will be, for instance, the right one and this will be the one corresponding to your left eye. Now we need to produce some color layers. First, we need to change the foreground color. Is this a uh, small square here on the left top part of the screen? Double click on it and use the code FF0000. Enter. And this is the red color. Now the foreground color is red. And to produce the layer, just click on Layer, New Layer. The name will be red. The mode must be screen. And the uh, filling must be foreground color. Okay? And now you see here in this uh, layers dialog that the red layer exists. Now produce a blue one just by changing the foreground color again and using the code 0000FF. To produce the layer, again click on layer, new layer. I will use the name Cyan. The mode is screen and fill with foreground color. And now it's produced. We have four uh, layers now, but we have to put them in order. First of all, the blue one, then the right, then the, the red, and finally the left one. We need to select only the, the, the first and the second. So to unselect the others, just click on the eyes. Now we are not seeing them anymore. And now we are going to combine the first and second layers. To combine them, just click on Image, Merge Visible Layers, Merge. You see, and now here in this dialog of the, of the layers, uh, change the mode from Normal to Multiply. Do the same with the other layers, so I don't want to see the first one anymore, I want to see these other two. Go to Image, Merge Visible Layers. Merge and change the mode from normal to multiply. Now I want to see all of them, the two of the combined layers that we have. Finally, go to the uh, left top uh, corner of the screen and select this tool, the Move tool. Click on the image, move and drop. We are producing the anaglyph now. If you put on your glasses, you will get some 3D sensation. So move the layer until you get the right one. And now you can try with your actual pictures of Aelita. Use uh, as a right image the one that you took with the camera in the position of your right eye and the same with the left. And move the layers until you find the actual depth of your actual picture when you uh, put on your 3D glasses. And that's it. Have fun! So, how does it look? Wow, it's so cool! In the second part of this experiment, you can use your own pictures of Aelita to make an anaglyph. Let's try it! Now, you can take Aelita 
and put it in the middle of the scene that you choose. For instance, we made a scene with some of the pictures of the surface of Mars. And now you have to make two pictures, for instance using your mobile phone. One by putting the camera in the position of your right eye and the other one in the position of your left eye. After you do the anaclip, this is the result. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. So just to remind you, each card has a QR code that you can use to get for me more information of the experiments. And you can also record your own experiments or send us some suggestions. And when you are done, you can play cards and have a lot of fun. Roadmap.